In the last part Tora defeated Hitatsuki, after which Ushio went out with him to find out about his mother. In the next episode, we see Hakuman, who was saying that the beast spear searching for me. For many years I have slept here, but the day of my awakening is near. But whenever the beast spear slays Yokai, Hakuman feels it, so he decides to destroy the beast spear as well as the human who wields it. On the other hand, Ushio and Tora have arrived Hokkaido, but at this time a biker was still following them. That's when Ushio sees a lady here, suddenly a monster attacks Ushio, however, the lady kills the monster very easily, and tells Ushio, that was a hei you set loose by Hakuman. The lady then looks at Ushio, and does not believe that Ushio can control the beast spear, but Ushio didn't know anything about this lady. Then the lady starts saying that Kuhame sect has protected the beast spear, and we are trained very hard to control it. But Ushio doesn't know what she is talking about. The lady then says that, Kuhame sect has trained worthy successors for this spear, and I am one of those. After this the lady reveals her name as Sekimori Hinawa. On the other hand, the people of Kuhame sect are upset, because all four of the chosen successors for the spear have disappeared. But the head knows that they may have gone after Ushio, because they feel that Ushio cannot control beast spear well. Here Hinoa asks Ushio to hand over the beast spear, because she feels that Ushio has not taken proper training like her. That's why he can't hear beast spear's voice very well, because of which he could not avoided much of that trouble. But if he had paid attention to beast spear's voice, then because of this, he would have already alerted the pilot about Fusuma. Apart from this, even Kagari's brother would not have died. Due to this, Ushio also feels that he is not able to control beast spear well. So Hinawa takes the spear out of his hands. After this, Hinawa starts saying that you cannot stand a chance against me. Still, Ushio didn't want to fight with her, but she attacks Ushio with her martial arts. That's when, she realizes that more Heiyu are coming here. So she immediately runs away from here. Now Ushio was very sad at this time. Seeing this, Tora starts asking him to fight back. Suddenly many Heiyu pass by, but they don't attack Ushio. Seeing this, Ushio understands that Heiyu ate after the beast spear, but the spear saved his life a number of times. So now Ushio decides to protect the beast spear. On the other hand, Heiyu had surrounded Hinawa and made himself bigger. After this Hinawa commands the beast spear to show its power, but the spear does nothing and remains calm. Now Hinawa could not understand anything and Heiyu suddenly attack her. Hinawa tries again, but the beast spear does not answer this time also. Heiyu captures Hinawa and the beast spear. After this, Heiyu goes to destroy both of them. But at the same time, Ushio catches the beast spear, due to which beast spear gets activated immediately. Now Hinawa was very surprised by this. Ushio then uses the beast spear and starts attacking Heiyu. Seeing its power, Heiyu also gets scared and captures Hinawa. Heiyu threatens to kill Hinawa and asks Ushio to hand over the beast spear. Seeing this, Ushio throws the beast spear towards Hinawa, due to which her life is saved. But Heiyu captures Ushio. Now Heiyu thinks that Ushio doesn't have beast spear, so he will kill Ushio easily. But Ushio wanted to protect beast spear in any way. Now Tora was furious, he attacks Heiyu with his lightning power and saves Ushio. Ushio then uses the beast spear and attacks Heiyu, after which all Heiyu run away from here. Now Ushio gives Hinawa her comb, which was fallen from her. Then Hinawa explains that the comb is a tool for gathering Nen. Hearing this, Ushio shows Hinawa his mother's comb, and says that I have to go to Asahikawa, to find out the secret about my mother. Just then Hinawa starts saying that I will let you hold on the beast spear a while longer, because I just need some more time to control it and I'll be back one day. After this Hinawa leaves from here. Now Ushio asks beast spear, do you really want to stay with me? Then a voice says that you are not worthy to control me. So leave me here and be gone. But actually it was Tora. So Ushio angrily kicks him. But during this he collides with a biker. And he is the same man. Who is following them. Now Ushio gets excited seeing this bike. But then he remembers his work and immediately leaves with Tora. The biker was still staring at them. So Tora understands that he is not a normal human. And he has a problem with me. Now Tora immediately goes to face him. But Ushio does not understand anything. And he comes at the bus stand. Then Heiyu takes control of the bus secretly, because they want to kill Ushio. Here Tora appears before the man. And the man says, I am another one of the chosen successors for the beast spear. After that he tells his name Akiba Nagare. And actually he was more interested in Tora than the beast spear. Now Tora gets angry on this and tries to attack him. 
but Nagare was also very powerful, so he easily saves himself. After this, Tora uses his lightning power, but Nagari bent it with his metal stick easily. Now Tora does not understand this. Then Nagari says that your lightning power is useless against me, because I can control the power of metal. Hearing this, Tora goes to attack on him with his fire power, but at the same time, Nagari stabs a metal in his hand. Tora does her best, but he is not able to free himself from its imprisonment, because that iron stakes barrier steals away a yokai's power. Here Ushio thinks, Tora will catch up him later, and the bus starts from here. On the other hand, Nagare starts asking Tora, why you haven't killed Ushio yet? While you are a powerful yokai that shoots lightning, breathes fire and understands human thought. Also that before you were sealed by the beast spear, you loved terrifying humans. Now Tora gets angry because of this. Seeing this, Nagari imprisons him even more badly. He starts telling Tora that you have saved Ushio and others in many battles, but I do not understand of your actions. However, Oyakum believes that you have began to understand the human heart. To this Tora says that you know all of that, and yet you call me a monster? He then frees himself in anger. But during this his hands and feet tore off. Now Tora was very angry with Nagare, because he wants to show him what a real monster is like. Seeing this, Nagare goes to kill Tora. But Tora destroys his metal stick in a moment, and Nagare is unable to cope with it. Now Tora reattaches his arms and legs, and tells Nagare that I do not know the reason, why I have not killed Ushio, but it is just I am never bored when I am with him. Nagare is shocked to hear this. Just then Tora gets Hayu's smell, and we see that Ushio's bus is out of control. Because Hayu got it under their control. Suddenly the sound starts coming from Beast Spear, and Ushio understands the whole matter. He then immediately saves the driver, but now Hayu had decided to kill Ushio. Here Nagare has also come to know about Hayu, so he too gets ready to face them. On the other hand Ushio thinks of jumping out of the bus, but at this time the speed of the bus was very high. Then the others also get worried, so now Ushio starts thinking about saving them. That's when Tora and Nagare also come here. Nagare then tells Tora an idea. Tora tells Ushio, you wait to the center of the aisle with the other humans, and I will do the rest. Now Ushio tells everyone together at the center of the bus. Just then Heiyu catches Ushio badly, because of which, he is unable to do anything. Now Nagare opens the bus from both the sides, and Tora blows the passengers out. But now all the passengers were about to fall down. Meanwhile, Heiyu attacked Nagare, however, Nagare creates a barrier here. Due to which, the lives of all the passengers are saved. But Heiyu still held on to Ushio, and they want to kill everyone along with him and the spear. Seeing this, Nagari himself decides to stop the bus. Then the Tora says that Ushio has been chosen by the spear. You guys will never be like him. Nagari does not understand his words. Suddenly the beast spear gets activated, and now Nagari is also surprised to see its power. After this, Ushio uses the spear to stop the bus. Now Heiyu can't bear its power, and immediately runs away. After this everyone's life is saved, but at the same time, Ushio sees a wounded girl, and feels that it is all because of his fault. But now Tora and Nagare come to him, and Nagare says I will give you lift, after which Ushio leaves with Nagare. Just then we see someone and it seems that, he is in control of someone, because something was in his body. On the other hand, Nagare and Ushio find some other bikers, but Ushio knew nothing about them. Then Nagari explains, in the process of selecting successors, a number of candidates did not make the cut, and these guys are some of them. She then removes her helmet and asks Nagare, did you see Satoru? Ushio could not understand anything. Then Nagare reveals that Satoru is Jun's brother, and he was also chosen to be the successor, but he is the most powerful of all of us. Jun then tells, ever since he heard Ushio had the beast spear, he changed, but sometimes he falls silent and gets lost in thought and for the past two weeks, I have not been able to contact him. Suddenly she feels the presence of Satoru. But Tora says he is now actually a Shikigami. Just then a monster comes here, but Ushio stops him and asks, what the hell is that? Tora explains him, it is a Hiruko. After this Satoru appears in front of them, and suddenly Hiruko attacks Ushio. Seeing this, Nagari tells Satoru to stop all this. But Satoru doesn't listen to anyone and he was behaving strangely. Seeing this, Nagari goes to stop to Satoru, but he beats Nagari very easily. After this the others also go to stop him, but Hiruko catches them too. Suddenly Tora attacks Hiruko and saves Ushio very easily, because he can't see Ushio dying in other's hand. Now Ushio uses the beast spear and kills Hiruko, 
Seeing this, Jun comes to stop Satoru, but he beats her too, all of a sudden something starts happening in his mind. After this, he says that I will destroy the beast's spear next time, and runs away from here. Now everyone gets worried about this. Then Tora says that Heiyu have infested his head. On the other hand, Heiyu wants to completely control Satoru's mind. But Satoru doesn't want to be under his control. Now Ushio asks Tora some way to save Satoru, but even Tora knew nothing about it. That's when Ushio remembers about Mirror Expert. After this Ushio immediately starts calling to Mirror Expert from a mirror. Because Mirror Expert was connected to every mirror in Japan. Now hearing his voice, Mirror Expert comes here. Then Ushio says that I have to talk to the leader. Hearing this, Mirror Expert starts asking the reason for this. After which Ushio tells him about the problem with Satoru. But Nagari couldn't understand what Ushio was doing. Then Ushio tells him about the leader, because he can definitely suggest a solution. Everyone gets shocked knowing this. After a while, the leader comes to talk to Ushio, which Mirror Expert had told everything. The leader then says that there is no way to chase the Heiyu from a human's head. But the only way is to go into the human's body and rid him of the Hayu there. However, ordinary humans do not have this ability. But apparitions can enter into living creatures. Hearing this, Ushio asks about the apparition. The leader then explains that when wielding the spear's power, you are always an apparition. But if you want to use the tremendous amount of power, it would require to enter a body. So the spear would take everything from you, and you would become a true monster. Knowing about this, Ushio gets worried. Because it meant... Beast spear would consume his soul completely. So if he does, he may not be able to become human again. Now everyone is worried about this. That's when, Nagari starts telling that 10 years ago, Jun was attacked by a monster, and Satoru protected her, but now he is a lot more powerful, and spiritually much stronger than others. Also when he was young, if he got too emotional, he would lose control of his power. It was a monster transformed from an old tree, but Satoru killed it with a single blow. However, Jun was scared of him and ran away. Suddenly Satoru comes here, and grabs Tora and the beast spear with his power. After this, he also attacks Ushio. Seeing this, Jun goes to stop her, but this time Satoru was not in his control. Still, Jun does not move from her front, and says I have something to tell you. Meanwhile, Tora frees himself and Ushio kills the monster. Satoru was about to kill Jun but before that Ushio stops him with beast spear. Now because of this, Satoru comes to his senses, but he regrets what he had done. After this he tells Nagare, please take care of my sister, and jumps down from here, after which the episode ends. But if you have missed the previous part, then definitely watch the video of the left side. Also subscribe to any summary, and set the notification to all.